So last, this is uh, this caught my attention. This is from Coin Telegraph. It says, "What death spiral? Bitcoin mining difficulty rises by nine percent." Says having. So before the having, uh, which was uh, around May May eleventh, I had thought that there was going to be a massive capitulation of all the Bitcoin miners, and they were going to shut down their rigs because instead of actually getting 12 and a half Bitcoin, they were only going to get 6.25 for every block that was mined, and the um, uh, price of the electricity had gone up. And I just thought, well, if that's the case, then these Bitcoin miners are going to say, well, I can't make that much money uh, because, you know, everything's cut in half. I'm doing the same amount of work, but I get in half the pay. So I'm just going to shut off. But uh, I was wrong. <laughs> I was just just uh, didn't hit that one. But that's a good thing. Right. So a rising hash rate is a positive for Bitcoin. So the thing about uh, hash rates, this is the great thing about the Bitcoin network. It keeps everything in equilibrium. So the more mining rigs that are out there, the more that are you know chunking along, mining those blocks, uh, the more they have, the higher the hash rate actually is, and the more difficult it is. And then inversely, uh, if miners would have shut everything down, or at least half of them would have shut down, then the difficulty would have dropped dramatically, and uh, it'd have been easier for all the ones that were left on. I always thought that uh, the bigger corporations, the big mining pools, would just dominate, and all the uh, small guys would be, uh, you know, pushed out. But it did not happen. And according to data from Glassnode, the mining difficulty of Bitcoin actually increased by 3.6% on August 24th, is and is now at an all-time high. So that is good for the network. So I can go over the rest of it. It goes through some data and some different points, but it's pretty boring. Um, the only thing that really I got out of this is that this is a good thing for Bitcoin because, I mean, it is it is good to have competition in a market. And if you're going to have, like, you know, just these huge mining pools just swallow up everybody, that's not great. Now, it's going to happen anyhow at some point. Let's just be honest, because, I mean, you've got these uh, big, huge mining pools in uh, in China, and that's just the way it is. And then you've got uh, there's some in actually layer one, which is in central or southwest. Texas um, and uh, that is the one that is uh, being financed by Peter Thiel and that one's supposed to be enormous there's also some other uh, mining operations in Texas as well uh, because the electricity is so cheap so uh, I'd, I'd like to see that I'd like to see more come out I'd like to see more smaller operations get into the game but yeah uh, you know how it goes uh, sometimes you just gotta get to uh, the bigger players dominate. Okay, and that's it for today's uh, top stories. But before we take off, I just want to say thanks to everybody who has signed up at uh, for Digital Asset News. There is a Join Now button at the very bottom right. Uh, just so you know, you don't get anything special. It's just like a tip. It's like a buck ninety nine, and uh, I just give random shout outs. So random shout outs to Tommy Maples, Jeremy Schwartz, Sam Vasquez, and Crow twenty four seven. We've all also got Patrick Mai, Fulja, Either Black, Chuck C. Uh, Azriel's pack <laughs> passage, Barry Belasco, Bill Bajerky, Sam Rossman, Igor Pustin. That's a good one. And Mo, Mo Zanel. So uh, thanks everybody. Really appreciate it. If you like those types of videos, there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. Don't know. Uh, YouTube has control of those. And um, also, they also have control over all the ads you saw. So if you saw a scam ad, not my fault. Uh, don't shoot the messenger. Actually, go talk to YouTube. They'd love to hear from you. And uh, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.